and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome, thank you so much for joining us. Here we talk about home education and occasionally family life. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. So today we're talking about our summer routine. Now as home educators, we tend to hibernate during the summer, don't we? As a group, we tend to be like, ah, because there are school children everywhere and whilst that is amazing for them that they get to have the summer off um, it can, can sometimes be a little bit frustrating for us as home educators because all of our usual places that are quiet um, and that we get to go and enjoy maybe discounts and things like that we don't get to enjoy quite as much or at all in some cases um, our local zoo for example um, they have home educators rates where you can get in for just six pounds per person but that's only during term time so as soon as the holidays come uh, we don't go to the zoo anymore which is frustrating um, because you know who, we love the zoo but anyway so I wanted to share my summer rhythm with you because um, we have decided to make the most of the summer this year we're not going to stay at home all summer we're going to try and get out and about but we're going to go to places um, where other people aren't and we're going to get there like before they open so we are ready to go in as soon as they open and get round and enjoy the fun before um, other people get there. That's our plan. <sighs> so here it is. I made this on Canva and I have also uh, the, shared the link in the description. I have two copies for you as well. You will get, just for watching this video and having a little look down the bottom, there's a link that sends you a copy of this. It also gives you a copy. It gives you a printable. So this one has the headings that I have used and it's got lines for you to write on what you want. And this one just has the days of the week and the lines for you to fill in what you want to do. So uh, the link is down in the description, but uh, let's go through what we're, uh, it's upside down. Let's go through what we're gonna be doing this, this summer holiday. So I've tried to make them alliterate just because I think it's fun. And I did see one that they all alliterated but one and that drove my brain crazy. So I just have, <laughs> I made them all alliterate. So number one is Move It Monday, and I always just, when I say it, I'm Move It Monday. Um, Mondays are all about moving our bodies and getting outside, so usually the kids will be at forest school on a Monday. And I wanna keep that um, theme going for them. I don't want them to feel like it's too much of a change. Um, so we're gonna be going outside <laughs> and moving our bodies on a Monday. Um, we're going to do things like yoga, walks in the park, going for bike rides, going to the beach, going to Moors Valley, which is a local country park, uh, probably about half an hour away from our home. We have um, season, you just pay a car parking fee and we have a season ticket for the car parking um, and playing in the garden. So as long as we're outside at some point during a Monday, that to me is a box ticked. So Tuesday I've called Tinkering Tuesday <laughs> and because I couldn't think of any other words but there was a T that would work. Um, and so Tuesdays are for creativity. Today we're going to be painting, junk crafting, drawing and colouring. We can do craft kits, crip, craft kits, craft kits and maybe take an art class. Uh, water Wednesday. So on Wednesdays my kids always have swimming lessons so I kind of tied that in with a the theme for the rest of the time. Uh, Wednesdays are for getting wet. Today we'll be going to swimming lessons because we're going to keep them up. Usually we do weekly. Through the summer holidays we're going to do fortnightly and then go back to weekly in September. Uh, to the swimming pool. So we go to the swimming lessons, to the swimming pool, to the splash park, to the stream or get the paddling pool out. Uh, trip Thursday. Uh, Thursdays are for days out. Today we'll be going to the wildlife park, Oceanarium, Moors Valley, the forest, the beach, museums and play dates with friends. And then Foodie Friday. This is the one I'm looking for, looking forward to most of all. Fridays are for baking and cooking. Today we'll be planning our food for the next week, baking and cooking together. So I'm going to, I have loads of plans for that one, but I'm going to be following a, um, like a little cooking curriculum and, um, working through that with, um, and um, kind of, I'm kind of, kind of trying to make it myself the curriculum to just um, build up everyone's skills and um, let them have a good, a good go. <sighs> I'm so tired. It's Sunday. I'm knackered. <laughs> um, yeah, let them have learn new skills and and do learn all sorts of recipes. Especially now, Bessie and Charles are both such fluent readers. I can just kind of let them get on with it a little bit and just help Albert, which is exciting. Uh, I think it's going to be probably loads and loads of cookies. 
like cookies till we come out of our ears so um i would love to hear what you're thinking about getting up to in summer do you have any holidays planned do you take tam do you take a uh, school holiday time holidays or are you like me and hate going on holiday and school holidays we always do term time holidays uh, we don't uh, unless uh, we are going away specifically with people who have school children like our family um that's the only time we will do them and it's only because we are forced to win like we don't have a choice um other times if we're going away just the five of us or we're going away with my family where there's no other children uh, who come on holiday with us then we will go tam time and it's cheaper and quieter and more fun um so yes what are you doing in some holidays what are you getting up to how um, how will you be navigating uh the school children everywhere do you have some children who are home educated and some children at school so you kind of have to just do it and deal with it uh let me know what you're gonna be getting up to i would love to hear and don't forget to check the link in the description and download your free printable there's gonna be loads of printables I'm going to be trying to do them at least once a week. Uh, they might not suit everyone, but hopefully they will be useful to you. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick video today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the printable and you check it out. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, there's also all sorts of things in the description below. Affiliate links where you can get discounts off of things. There's also my uh, email address if you need any advice or assistance at all. It's all free. You can just message me an email, uh, pop me an email and we can have a chat. Don't forget to connect with me on social media. We've got Facebook and Instagram adventure all the way and you can also I also have my PO box link so if your children would like to send my children anything they would love to hear from you um, and I always love receiving things in the PO box as well so feel free to um send things to the PO box and uh, if you put make sure if you your children want to write or draw or send pictures to my children please make sure you put a return address so my children can write and send things back to you thank you so much for joining us and don't forget to like and subscribe it makes my day I do a happy dance like this every time you do and I will see you next time for another video bye